I'm Luke Timmerman, the founder and editor of Timmerman Report, and I'm here at the Bio CEO and Investor Conference with Jim Greenwood, the president and CEO of the Biotechnology Innovation Organization. Welcome, Jim. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. So, uh, you've unveiled a new ad campaign. Yeah. Uh, time is priceless. Time is precious. Time is precious. Time is precious, right. So, uh, what are you hoping to accomplish? Well, as you know, and as most people know, our industry, despite all the amazing things we do to create new hope and new products and new medicines and that, that alter lives, improve lives, save lives, we're under unmitigated criticism. And primarily because our products are expensive. They're expensive for a reason. They're expensive because what we do is almost impossible. Most of our projects fail. Most of our companies fail. But if uh, we're going to continue to um, create new treatments and, and cures, we're going to have to continue to invest to attract investment capital, and that means our prices have to reflect that. So we're trying to overcome some of this criticism, respond to the criticism, present our side of the story, and part of our side of the story is that what we, at the end of the day, what we give people is not just a bottle of pills or an injection. What we give them is extra time, and that and means, you know, if, sometimes we get criticized, well, this drug only extended lives by three months. Well, that's maybe 90-some dinners with the person you love the most. And so this ad uh, draws attention to, to this, this thing that we give people, and that is time. And the preciousness of time, uh, when you think about it, is really, there's nothing more valuable to us than to be able to spend a few more days or a few more months or a few more years with the people that we love. And that's what we're trying to communicate. No, a lot of people out there are hurting and pretty upset. Senator Schumer right. made reference to this yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have made up their minds about drug pricing and drug companies. Mm -hmm. Who do you uh, hope to persuade here? Well, I think we have to we have to persuade everyone. I mean, we have to persuade not only the, the patients and the public and the investors, but the, the, the insurers, the payers, that we're all in this together. You know, it, it, this is not an issue where there are good guys and bad guys. This is an issue, this is a question about how can we as a society continue this extraordinary enterprise, which is galloping along in terms of the science, uh, and do it in a way that makes sense for everybody. It makes sense for the payers, whether it's a taxpayer or it's an insurer, it makes sense for the patient. And part of what we have to communicate is that access is not just a, a, an issue of the price tag on the, on the product, but it also is how to ensure Insurers behave. So if if a if the if an insurer puts a 30% copay or co-insurance on a product that might cost $100,000 over the course of a year, that might make it unreachable, unattainable for the patient. And that's not simply a question of what the price tag on the drug is. It's a question of how the insurers behave as well. So we're all in this together, and uh, I think we will do better when we point fewer fingers and come up with newer, new, better ideas. I'm glad you brought that up about pointing fingers, because I hear a lot of uh, CEOs and, and leaders in the industry um, who are somewhat defensive and you know, complaining about the politicians who are saying things about drug prices or the payers. Uh, what is one thing that you think your members could do to be part of the solution to, to reaching a, a more fair pricing model? Well, we have to do what, what we've begun to do in the last uh, six or months or so, and that is uh, not just sort of stand back and take the blows, but actually reach out, communicate. Uh, we're putting a lot of effort into communication, and it's not just infomercials. You know, people can see through infomercials. It's not just us uh, you know, regurgitating the same lines. It's us saying, look, um, we're all in this business because we want to save lives. You know, a lot of these companies are, are run by physicians and, and, uh, and scientists who just want to make a difference. Uh, and we can't make the economics go away. You know, investors don't invest in our companies because they want to cure cancer. They invest in our companies because they want a return on investment. And if we can't give them that return on investment, they will take their money elsewhere. They'll put it into the next iPhone. And if that happens, uh, we'll have nicer iPhones, but we won't cure cancer. And so that's what we have to do. And we have to be straightforward. We have to be open and transparent and tell our story. Last one real quick. Uh, how will you define success in this communications campaign? Well, in, in, the, in the short run, 
uh, I would define success as we, we prevent uh, bad things happening to the industry, bad things that Congress might do to us or state legislatures might do to us or presidents might do to us. But that's, that's just the short survival scheme. Uh, in the long run, we have to develop a national consensus, if not an international consensus, about how this process is going to work and what is necessary for us to succeed. And I'm repeating myself, but, I, but it must, you know, it, it bears repeating. Um, we're all in this together. And you know, if, you, if, if people want to bash our industry and, uh, and price, put price controls on our products, that's entirely possible. But just, just realize that that's the end of hope for un, innumerable patients who are suffering or will be suffering from the diseases that have plagued us for thousands of years, but don't need to plague us if we can figure out how to do this together. A few more great products would sure go a long way. Sure would, and they're coming. They're in the pipeline if we can just keep the, keep the system working. Thanks, Jim. All right, thank you.